Hey folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen, back in the Tasty Tenor Kitchen for my series, Good Food, Good Times. Check out these amazing beef and cheese quesadillas. So quick to put together, let's do it right now. Okay, so we're getting that pan nice and warm right now. We'll start off with a little tablespoon of olive oil uh, just to get it nice and warm through. So in go uh, the green peppers first of all. You see it's starting to sizzle already, good times. Our chopped onion, and we are gonna push it all around together. We really wanna get these flavors working in, okay? And the mushrooms. What we'll do is give it an extra seasoning too of salt and pepper. So a little grind of that. Loving these extra salt shakers and pepper shakers that uh, Tasty Tenor have invested in. These are amazing. All right. And a wooden spoon. So let's just give this a good push around for around about 10 minutes to fully soften up. And in fact, even it, having it like this, it'll taste so good as it is. So if you're vegetarian, you could even omit the beef. Our ingredients have had 10 minutes. They've all softened up and those flavors have come together. So it's time to take it off the heat and push it into the bowl. And the great thing I like about quesadillas, is not only are they like speedy and flashy in a, in a quick, you know, quick fix for dinner and get you through, you can mix up any ingredients as you like. So as I say, if you want it vegetarian, you can do that. If you don't want to use uh, sandwich beef like I'm using, you could use steak to put that authentic steak and cheese feel, use chicken, anything you like. In fact, let me know down below what you put in yours. Quesadilla is always a winner. Okay, folks, so it's now time to cook up our quesadilla. So what we're gonna do, first of all, still using that heat in the pan, and if you want, you can oil it, you put some butter in there, but there's still a little bit left in the pan, and I prefer to kind of toast mine, but it's up to you. Put the tortilla in there, three different types of cheese here. Uh, they're all listed in the ingredients down below, and of course, the full description, the method, the ingredients are all on the website, so check that link. We're gonna start off with a base layer of cheese, and it's really good to get a, a real nice, good amount of cheese on there here, because that's gonna act as a glue and hold it all together across all these different layers. So as I said earlier, this is some sandwich beef that I've just shredded up. It's a little cheaper uh, than steak, but of course you could cook up some steak and shove that on there. It'll be just as good, but this is a little cheeky, speedy workaround. So get that all over there. Some more cheese on top. This is some shredded Gruyere cheese. Smells amazing. Try to get it nice and even as well. You don't want it lopsided, so you put your tortilla in. It's like the leaning power, power? Leaning tower of quesadilla. No, that's not good. Then we add in the onions, the peppers, and the mushrooms, which have been seasoned already. The heat of this will actually start to melt the cheese below already. But again, get it nice and evenly spread. Push it all around there. So remember guys, just like all the recipes we do on the channel, if you have a go at this, we'd love to see your pictures. So send us a picture at the Tasty Tenor or at My Virgin Kitchen and we'll retweet it and share it to the whole world. So the last step is to put, guess what? Some more cheese on there. This is some pepper jack cheese, but of course you could put on whatever you like really. And this cheese layers are really gonna add different dimensions. And in fact, cheese as it is, I used to think it was just, right, that's cheese, but you know, different maturity levels of the cheese can really add that flavor and really ramp it up. Uh, so get that nice and coated on there. The last layer is your tortilla. So on that goes, and the cheese, that final layer will stick to it like glue, as I say. Now with quesadillas for me, uh, what I tend to do to make it easier for myself, rather than trying to flip it over, is whack it under the grill to toast that top too. So uh, keep your eye on the bottom, keep going with it. A couple of minutes, keep checking it. it. Smells so good. And then we'll put it on the grill. Right, so we've taken it out of the grill, and I hope you'll agree it's looking absolutely amazing. This smell is fantastic. So all I'm gonna do is grab a sharp knife and start to cut up a little triangular pieces to sit on my gorgeous little board right there. So I'm gonna do it straight in the pan. We'll get it served up. So I'm just placing down my final triangle right there. It is looking so, so good. I wish I could pass the smell through the camera right now. And it's only fair, because I made it, I might as well have a taste of it, right? Mm, is that smell? Mm -hmm. 